Howdy do. <laughs> Howdy do, buckaroos. How the heck are you? So, hey, so I visited the Crown Valley Distillery in Branson today. I actually ran into somebody there that <laughs> recognized me. Can you believe it? No, damn, we can't. <laughs> now I was sitting there, I was doing a sampling, and I hear this voice from behind me, Howdy do, buckaroos! So I'm thinking to myself, oh gosh, I have to, <laughs> I hope whoever that recognizes me is somebody that likes me, but anyways, um, so, uh, for best results, serve between 48 and 52 degrees. Now I had a small sampling of this at the brewery, it was, it was way colder than that, I can guarantee you. 10.6% uh, ABV. So there we go. Um, this beer started as this 8% cream stout. We put it in our very own Crown Valley whiskey barrels and added the right amount of oak, the heavy vanilla along with enhanced chocolate notes give a great finish. And mouthfeel, yeah, I really enjoyed it, but uh, but it was a little cold need to be, so I don't really think I got a full appreciation of it. So I bought a bottle. It was only about fifteen bucks. What the hell for a you know a barrel aged brew? I was noticing a lot of uh, anise uh, on it uh, when I had this. It, it was just a small kind of you know one ounce plastic cup there. Oh wow. I'm noticing more of the chocolate now. I'm still I'm still feeling some of the anise. I am using a Crown Valley glass, as you can see, my Crown Big Crown Valley mug. A beer like this might be better served in a snifter, but I felt I should have something that actually said Crown Valley on it. I'm getting a lot of chocolate uh, mixed with the anise there. Hmm. I'm also feeling some, some almost, uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 feeling almost some date-like notes in there as well. Some definite fruit going on. Take it out. Oh, wow. Um, whoo, baby. That's what daddy like. Wow, that's that's gorgeous. Yeah, it is a little different. Um, Imperial staffs don't always give you a lot of fruit. You don't really expect esters in a beer like this. Um, it does, though. I, I really am getting. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stand by it, man. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm standing by what I said. Yeah, I, I, there is some definite fruit-like notes in there. I'm certainly getting some date. There might even be some stone fruit, but typically when you think stone fruit, you think peach or apricot what I'm what I'm really feeling is more like a a, a very dark almost overripe plum not quite prune if you follow me it's not quite dried but a very dark very overripe plum going on and there it is there's there it is! There, <laughs> there it is! There's that whiskey barrel showing through. Oh, yeah. Talk to me, baby. You know a day like... Oh. It's it, it's rich. It has a lot of dimension. It is... Trade here. It is 10.6%. Um, again, this beer started as a cream stout. Uh... Used aged in Crown Valley whiskey barrels. Heavy vanilla. Yeah, you, you definitely get some vanilla. You definitely get some chocolate. 
Uh, it does have a great finish and mouthfeel. Yeah, the mouthfeel is what's impressive about it. It's uh, it is just a very silky texture. <clears throat> A 10.6 is a rather deceiving it, it because I, I've had beers of lesser alcohol that felt thicker. This isn't thick at all, and, and the alcohol is hidden rather well. But it is that finish that's really nice. Where that, that's where I really get those fruit notes that I was talking to you about. I feel a lot of a lot of that chocolate, a lot of that vanilla. Uh, right there in the middle but at the end is really where I, I, I feel some of those you know what I was talking about the, the date uh, possibly some raisin uh, but uh, those 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 rich you know, almost uh, like like an overripe plum note going on there right there in the finish Oh, it's very nice. So there you go. Hey, cheers. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks to all the folks at Crow Valley. I had a time out there, boy. <laughs> they didn't have to escort me to the car, but it might have gotten close to that. I'm Tommy the Beer Whisperer. We'll talk to you later.